All right, welcome to another edition of Test Freaks Unboxing. Today I've got the Cooler Master V10. It's a 200 plus watt air cooling CPU cooler with hybrid TEC. All right, check it out here. Let me adjust my camera a little bit. Drop it down. All right. <coughs> got some tape on the side, as you can see. Opening it up, got a lot of padding. We've got the V10 all snug inside. And this is a big power supply. Or no, I'm sorry. <laughs> CPU cooler. It's a big CPU cooler. Yeah. I'm doing too many of these today, I think. Anyway. Got the V10 guideline for hybrid TEC system. Got a warranty. Got a user manual as well. Okay. Uh, here we've got a sample of Tribal Fusion 400 Cooler Masters uh, thermal compound. Hmm. Looks like them, I guess. All right. Here we've got. Mounting stuff, screws, mounts for all the various sockets that this is compatible with. Okay, let's pull this out of here. <laughs> really got to get a camera, man. All right, that's yeah, really in here. I can get it out. Hmm. This. Oh, nope, it's not open on that side. All right, there we go. This thing is huge. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty big, especially for a CPU cooler. Okay, um, let's try this here. <laughs> All right. Okay, here it is. Here, a profile shot of it. Backside, all kinds of fins, aluminum fins. Uh, here, we've got all the heat pipes actually extend past the bottom base. And you can see a fan in here. Now, uh, this apparently would be the TEC. Or no, the TEC is here actually. I'm sorry. This would be the TEC here, our TEC unit. Um, you can see the heat pipes, it has its own cooling system the TEC does right here this will be it here now here's the base and as you can see we've got another we've got two more actually you got two you got one here one heat pipe cooler here one heat pipe cooler here and another one that goes off to the side looking at it from the top you can see one fan there and then we've got one fan that's in between the other two which you really can't get a look at I'd have to Unscrew it and all that to get it apart to show you. Eh, can't do that right this second. Or do I have to? Aha, maybe not. Hold on. Let me try this here. I think this shroud just pops off. Yes, it does. Eh, maybe. <laughs> have to get all the clips. Oh, no, maybe it doesn't. Thought it just clipped off. Hmm. No, okay, there is screws in there. There is screws in there, so it does not just pop off. On the front it does, yes. But, user's manual. <laughs> well, anyway. Um... I'm gonna have to get this installed and play with it. I'm gonna be installing it on a Intel Q9550. And I have to get some overclocking in, of course, to get the, they recommend only using this with above Q6600 uh, quad cores uh, because the TEC uh, it doesn't put enough power out for the TEC to engage to give you proper cooling. 
But as you can see, it's massive. It's a massive cooler. We got dual fans. And a TEC built into it. Uh, supposedly the TEC kicks in as need be. Uh, 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 uh. It doesn't really say. Okay. HEC is intelligently activated once CPU reaches extreme temperature. That's it. All right. It's a unique triple heatsink with modular aluminum fins, dual PWM fans. Uh, that's about it. Uh, they're 120 by 120 by 25 fans. They're 800 to 2400 RPMs. 90 CFM max. All right. Uh, that's about it. It works with LJ1366, 775, AMD, and all AMD platforms, basically. Back to 754. Um, all right, well, that's it. Let me take some pictures, get it installed, and I'll let you know how it works.